Hello, Nate here from Veracity Motors at 1701 East Main Avenue here in Bismarck today. I've got for you our 2022 GMC Yukon Denali XL. We're gonna start off on the exterior of this vehicle, go over all the features it has to offer on the outside, um, and then we will jump along into the inside of the vehicle and go over all the interior features it has to offer as well. So starting off, like I said, being the Denali, you are going to have that 6.2 liter V8 engine under the hood. So plenty of power in this uh, Yukon to get you where you need to go, get you there in a timely manner. Um, and being the XL, it's also going to be the longer version. So tons of room and space on the inside for you and all of your passengers. Um, it's going to be kind of that nice gray in color on the exterior as well. Gives a really nice and sporty look to this Denali your chrome trim going along the windows the door handles and the bottom of the doors as well proximity keys on all four of the handles what that will allow you to do is say your hands are full um, and you're unable to access the keys in your pocket you can actually just put your hand in the handle and lock and unlock your vehicle without ever having to pull your keys out as you can see i just unlocked it so it folded out the mirror press that button it's going to power fold in your mirror as well super neat power folding um, and power adjustable mirrors as well you got your puddle light on the side of the mirror there gmc and denali badging going along the side running boards down below silver gmc wheels and lots of uh, life left in these tires as well nice aggressive headlights and grill up above front parking sensors going along that front bumper what those will do for you um, is they're actually going to beep at you and alert you if you're getting close to anything when parking your vehicle so it's going to keep you your vehicle and your passengers safe at all times which is really nice fog lights down below like i said nice aggressive gmc grill up above awesome again with the running boards down below luggage rails up top so if you need even more uh storage space you can actually get uh aftermarket um storage compartment store up there with your luggage rails which is really sweet bring you to the back here i really like the exhaust on this yukon gives it a really aggressive look to this vehicle um, parking sensors down below along that rear bumper as well and i'll actually auto start it See, it's got a little nice rumble to it. Like I said, aggressive look and sound to this Yukon. And then you just double tap that again and it kills it. Like I said, rear parking sensors along the back bumper as well. Receiver hitch underneath this cap here. Denali and Yukon badging along that lift gate. Backup cam. Just hit the button and the power lift gate is gonna come up nice and easy for you. Um, this is obviously a third row vehicle as well. So all the rows are folded up right now. If need be, you can actually fold down this third row and maximize your storage capacity. So you'll have tons and tons of room for storage. Storage compartment folds up. You have some nice little kind of cubbies down below there. Nice little hooks here and here. If you have something in the back, you don't want it flying around, scratching up the plastic and strap it into these hooks. 110 outlet right there. And then you got your power folding. I always forget which one it is. One second here. No. There we go, had to have the vehicle on. Um, so like I said, power folding third row as well, and you can actually drop down the second row too if you want. It does not fold back up, but you can drop it down just the press of those buttons. And as you can see here now, I mean, I have tons of space in the back seat of this Yukon. So lots of room for storage um, and passengers as well. Let's go ahead and make our way to the uh, second row here. So bench seat in the second row. It's actually super easy to get in and out of this vehicle. I only have one hand right now, so try and make it as easy as I can. 
Like I said, I mean, when you fold down all these seats, you just have tons of storage room. And then it clicks back in, hold this, slide back, adjustable headrest all the way around, storage and cup holders down below on the door panel there, Nolly badging down below as well. Bose sound system badged on the speakers there, being that this vehicle does have a premium Bose sound system. It's a nice luxury sound and sound system in this vehicle. Kind of show you back there. And then now I am in the second row. I mean, you can see just how much leg room I have back here. I'm by no means a super tall guy. I'm about five foot 10, but I mean, I have the world to work with back here. So makes for a really nice, enjoyable, comfortable ride for everybody. Um, kind of nice wood grain pattern going along that door panel as well. Handle along the column right there, vent up above. Nice little hook that pops down. Panoramic sunroof all the way around, storage compartments on the back of these seats here. Climate options down below, got your fan speeds, modes, and temps, and I'm gonna have heated seats in the second row as well. So just the click of the button, really nice, you can turn them on. Chrome along the handles, I mean chrome along the cup holders right here. Adjustable headrest up above as well. Like I said, I mean, I have tons of space back here, so. Now I'm going to make my way to the driver's seat. So I do have power driver and passenger seat as well. You see that sweet little Denali uh, image is gonna come up on the screen, so it gives it a really cool effect here. And then your Denali badging up there. Awesome, adjust my power seat. Change en engine oil soon. So the oil does need to be changed on this vehicle. You do get a free oil change um, when buying a vehicle from us as well. So nothing to be worried about. Um, 14,791 exact miles on this Yukon as it sits right now. So super low miles. Um, you see you got your digital speedometer up above. Um, miles per hour gauge right there. So another speedometer gauge right there. RPM, the gear you're in, your lane keep setting, um, what drive you're in, miles to E, speed limit sign up there as well. So tons of options. Leather wrapped steering wheel, heated steering wheel as well. Um, you're also going to have all your different steering wheel controls, collision avoidance, heated steering wheel, all your cruise control options, your adaptive cruise. So you can set the gap in between you and the next car. Like I said, leather wrapped, heated, super nice for the winter time. Um, then you're also going to have all your different menu options here. So you're able to just scroll through your menu up above, really keep an eye on your vehicle, all that good stuff. Check your tire pressure, check your nav, all your personal vehicle settings go in, you know, kind of customize it to what's going to work best for you. Adjust the gauges to wherever you like them most. And then you're also able to adjust your heads up display. I'm not sure if you can see it. Might be kind of tricky, there you go. So your heads up display is actually gonna display, um, you know, your lane keep settings, um, how fast you're going, the local speed limit of where you're traveling. So really cool, you can turn it off if it's not a feature that you like to use and you can also adjust it. So if you need it, there you go. You need it higher up, lower, whatever it may be. Um, like I said, you can also change the information it's gonna display to you, so. Really lots of things to go through on this vehicle and personalize and customize for yourself. Blinkers. Let's go back and leave it on the digital speedometer for now. Blinkers. Um, all your different other vehicle options right here. Lane keep, parking sensors, auto start stop, traction control, hill assist, 360 backup cam, which is really cool. Um, 110 plug-in as well. E-brake, all your heads up display down here. Drive select auto, four high, two high, four low. Trailer mode, light settings, headlight settings down below. Um, power mirrors, power folding mirrors, lock unlock buttons, automatic driver and passenger window. Memory seat settings as well. 
storage compartments along that door right there. You're also gonna have power lumbar support in the seat here. Power adjustable seat also. So like I said, tons of options in this vehicle. I'm gonna hit that low X for now. Um, hazards up above, push to start, and then you got your gear select here. So in reverse, neutral, drive, low, back to park. It's a really cool and easy way to shift gears in your vehicle here. Um, and as you can see, I have my Google um, media screen up here. So it's a really nice new media screen they got going on here, Bluetooth touchscreen. And like I said, it's made by Google. So you can hit that button and do the whole, hey Google thing. Um, it's something you'll have to go through and set up, but tons of options in the home screen here, all your different climate control options, settings, vehicle, wi um, vehicle Wi-Fi and hotspot settings. You can add a trailer, customize your trailer settings, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You even have the Google Play Store. Um, and like I said, you can go in, hook up your own phone, listen to your own music, make phone calls, do the Hey Google, all that stuff. So tons of different options in this vehicle um, to choose from. Navigation as well. All your different volume and tune settings down below. Dual climate control as well. All your physical climate control buttons down here heated and cooled seats up above you can lock the rear climate control options as well i'll show you here folds up to your cup holders and that slides back and you have your wireless charging pad down below usb-c usb and then a 12 volt import right there you just press on that and then it closes up this as well nice big center console is going to fold up little cubby compartment usb usb c so tons of opportunities in this vehicle i mean absolutely tons of space lots of options it is super loaded up so um like i said you also have that panoramic sunroof up above sunroof options um you can fold down the seats from up here uh universal garage door opener power lift gate <coughs> excuse me um, I'm going to make my way to the exterior one more time. I'm just going to do one more big 360 of this vehicle. Go over if there's any flaws, scratches, anything like that. Um, this is a super, super clean Yukon. So I'll try and see if I can find anything. Oops, scratching down below <coughs> excuse me <laughs> awesome thank you so much for watching like i said my name is nate and this is our 2022 gmc yukon xl denali